Hello everyone, this is Natalie with Sacred Mountain Yoga and today I'm here to share with you three simple techniques that you can use to relieve acute neck pain. Acute neck pain is defined as any pain that has lasted less than three months. Anything more than that, uh, we can consider that a chronic condition and the way that we address it is slightly different. Uh, for the purposes of this video, uh, we're here to address um, any pain that's associated with a sudden onset of a muscle spasm or not in the neck or upper back that is causing um, pain and inhibiting movement. For this video, you will need a yoga mat, you will need a bolster. Uh, if you don't have a bolster, a large firm pillow will do, and a, a towel or a blanket. I hope these techniques will be as beneficial for you as they have been for me and my students. Let's begin. We're going to begin today's practice by lying on our back. So take your time making your way down, especially if you're in a lot of pain. You can hold the head and slowly try to guide your body weight down. Dennis is already in position, geared up and ready to go. So what I would like you to do is put your body in a position that it can relax the most in. So take your bolster okay, or your large pillow, whatever you're using for your practice, and you're going to bring it underneath your knees carefully, slowly. If you have someone else to assist you, that's always great, but if not, you know, do your best to manage. Okay. And now we're going to work on aligning the neck. So commonly, if you have tightness in the upper back, the head or the chin will tend to tilt upwards, okay, causing a little crunching sensation in the back. Okay. And if you have um, too much of a pillow behind you, you could bring your chin too much forward, which would again cause more strain. So we want to position the neck in a way that the bridge of your nose is in line with your chin so that we can have a neutral spine. Dennis looks pretty good the way he is. We're still going to prop him up just a little to give him that support underneath his neck. So lift your head just very carefully for me. Yeah, and we're going to put that underneath. Okay, relax your head. Good. How does it feel? Good. Good. So if you're at home doing this and you need to give a little bit of more of a roll in your cervical spine, just roll up your towel and just bring it a little bit closer towards your back. Once you're here, we're in our first position. So arms are just beside our waist. Turn your palms to face up so the shoulder blades can relax back. And now we're going to work on relaxing the body weight down. So a key component to healing is the ability to relax. Oftentimes we're consumed of what we cannot do once we have an injury and the amount of worry and frustration that can accompany that. Um, inhibits our healing process. So what we want to do is get the mind redirected, focused on your healing, on relaxation, so that your body can heal. So start with a long breath out. As you're exhaling, draw the lower belly into the spine and let your weight relax down. And allow your eyes to close fully. Okay, good. And let the inhale happen naturally, smoothly. Good, and then exhale slowly, draw the lower belly in and just sink the weight of your shoulders. That's it. Okay. This is probably the best position to put yourself in if you're having um, a flare up or a muscle spasm in your neck because it takes the load off of your neck from your head. The human head weighs about 10 to 11 pounds, so it's not ideal to be sitting upwards um, for long periods or standing for long periods if you have acute neck pain. Good. And as you're laying here, keep focusing on a long breath out and imagine the weight of your legs, the weight of your arms, the back of your neck, the back of your head is all sinking down to the floor. As much as you can, you want to cue relaxation through the whole body. Okay, technique number two is switching the position of the arms. So we're staying on our back, but we're going to open the arms a little bit wider. So Dennis is very gently going to draw his arms at about shoulder height with a soft bend in the elbows okay, to create a little bit more relaxation through the shoulder blades. Does that feel okay like that? Great. Okay, relax your eyes and go back to your breathing. Wonderful. So each time you're switching the position, come back to your breath, back to your body. Anytime the mind starts to wander or fluctuate to other thoughts, times, or spaces, you want to just bring it back to the present moment without judging it, just knowing that that's the habit of the mind to do. And then feel the weight of your shoulders. Keep letting the head relax, letting your shoulder blades relax. 
Okay, what also can be helpful to add into your practice is visualizing the breath. So you can visualize it as a healing breath, golden white light. You can breathe it in to wherever you're having the tension or discomfort. And as you exhale, imagine that it's penetrating through your muscles, through your tissues, and bringing ease into the body. And you'll stay here for about five to 10 breaths. Okay, if, if you don't want to count and you want to take your mind completely out of the practice, you can always set up a timer on your phone and set it to about two to five minutes and you can just keep it in that and breathe. And if that's feeling tolerable and you think you can move a little bit more than that, you're gonna slide your arms a little bit higher. And I'm gonna move a little bit out of your way. Good. And all we're doing is changing the position of your arms and it's gonna have a different effect in the back and in the back of the neck. Each time your goal is to continuously relax the body and engage your mind in relaxation. Letting go of worry, letting go of frustration, just breathing in and as you exhale, softening, relaxing, feeling the limbs becoming heavy. Good. And the third technique we're going to explore is actually bringing some movement for the head. And I recommend this if um, if it doesn't aggravate your existing condition. So once you start to attempt it, if it starts to increase the amount of pain you're experiencing, um, may not be ready for that right this moment. So slide your arms back into either the second or first position, so they're a little bit lower than your shoulders. Okay, and then very slowly, you're gonna tilt your head over towards the right side, and then over to the left side with a calm breath, inhaling back to center, and then exhale, drop your head to one side, back to center with your breath, exhale to the other side. Yeah, perfect. Wonderful. And you can do this five to 10 times on each side. Okay, just allowing some gentle movement through the neck in a way that's not gonna re-aggravate the existing injury. Good. Do about two more on each side. Good, following your breath side to side. Again, if you're using your visualization, keep breathing into the tension wherever you're experiencing it. And as you exhale, start to allow it to melt away from the body. So these techniques should, um, should last about 15 to 20 minutes, depending if you're using timers or if you're counting your breath. And you wanna give the body at least that time um, to be able to properly relax with your breathing. What would be very helpful to do is to take several small breaks throughout your day. If you are sitting up, if you are still going to work and you still have that, in, that uh, pain in your neck, is to just take some breaks where you can relieve the weight of your head from your neck by lying down. Good, and then stop and center, take your breath in, and exhale, relax here. Wonderful. Try these out. I hope they'll be hel as helpful for you as they have been for me and my students. If there's any other videos you would like to see done, please contact me at info at smyoga.ca. Thank you so much for watching. It's been my pleasure to share these techniques with you. As always, practice safe, and I wish you all the best in health and wellness. Namaste.